Energizing your soul through the inspired Word of God, this is your daily devotional reading. Our High Calling, a devotional by Ellen White. October 22nd, Planting Seeds of Truth. Sowing in the morning, sowing seeds of kindness, sowing in the noontide and the dewy eve, waiting for the harvest and the time of reaping. We shall come rejoicing, bringing in the sheaves, bringing in the sheaves, bringing in the sheaves. We shall come rejoicing, bringing in the sheaves, bringing in the sheaves, bringing in the sheaves. We shall come rejoicing, bringing in the sheaves. Planting Seeds of Truth In the morning sow thy seed, and in the evening withhold not thine hand, for thou knowest not whether shall prosper, either this or that, or whether they both shall be alike good. Ecclesiastes chapter 11 verse 6 As professing children of God, we are under solemn obligation to seek and to save the lost. God wants you to associate with believers and unbelievers that you may help all to a fuller knowledge of the truth. Get acquainted with those whom you think you can help. Then, when you get into conversation with them, do not talk of nothingness and folly, but tell of the precious things of God. Angels of God will make impressions upon the mind if, in the Spirit of Christ, you will seek to reach and to help souls. Wherever you are, let your light shine forth. Hand out papers and pamphlets to those with whom you associate. When you are riding on the cars, visiting, conversing with your neighbors, and improve every opportunity to speak a word in season. We should cultivate kindliness and courtesy in our association with those whom we meet. Let us strive always to present the truth in an easy way. This truth means life, eternal life to the receiver. Study, therefore, to pass easily and courteously from subjects of a temporal nature to the spiritual and eternal. While walking by the way or seated by the wayside, you may drop into some heart the seed of truth. There is work to be done for our master. There are souls who may by our influence be led to Christ. Who is ready to engage in this work with all the heart? Thine is the seed time. God alone beholds the end of what is sown. Beyond our vision, weak and dim, the harvest time is hid with him. Yet unforgotten where it lies, the seed of generous sacrifice, though seeming on the desert cast, shall rise with bloom and fruit at last. Our High Calling, October 22nd. I encourage you to be ye doers of the word and not hearers only. Thank you for listening and be sure to join us tomorrow for your daily devotional reading.